All right, I'm going to take a break. Uh, hey, y'all. I am going to take a break. I'm going to go take a break with Benny. So okay. we're going to have a little D&D session? Wanna, yeah, you want to do this? Uh, you yeah. want to do this? Oh, yeah. I'm over to your seat, though. So. Hello, and welcome to D&D, the podcast featuring uh, Deanna and Destiny. I am your host, Michael Jackson. No, I was just thinking. Uh, <laughs> I like boys. So, without any further ado, he was framed. Yeah, he was framed by tiny penises. No, oh, you fucking. I I need to make fun of Michael Jackson because people didn't like Michael Jackson near the end of his life, and they made fun of Michael Jackson and they hated Michael Jackson. But then once he died, they're like, oh man, Michael Jackson, he's a weirdo, right? I hate him. Wait, he's dead. Genius. No one ever make fun of him again. And that just pisses me off. That pisses me off. Because people hated him, and then he died, and now he's insane. Well, I like him, so... I like his music. Also, he's a creepo. Oh, my God. What is up, everyone? This is Deanna, and I'm here with Destiny, and guess what we're going to fucking talk about? Smash Mouth. Everyone's favorite band. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they wrote the, uh, the, um, uh, uh, they definitely wrote the national anthem. That's what I was gonna say. I'm yeah, pretty sure they wrote the national anthem. Uh, yeah, the Time Star Spangled of... Banner. They wrote oh, that. The Declaration of Independence. That's not a song, but they still wrote it. Have you seen their, their Twitter account? No. no. On their Twitter account, their bio says, fuck you, Shrek, we were gonna be the next Beatles. <laughs> Actually, I think that Shrek elevated them to something more than Beatles. Did you just compare Smash Mouth to the Beatles? Uh, no, I compared the Beatles to Smash Mouth because one of these two is lesser and it's the Beatles. <laughs> um, this podcast is now called D because I'm gone. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're going to talk about their... Arguably best song. I'm pretty sure it's the only song they wrote. Mm-hmm. Might as well be Walking on the Sun. I oh, t- Walking on that song too. But yeah, that wouldn't actually not that great. Um, the song that I think might have been wrote specifically for Mystery Men, since it has a lot of Mystery yeah. Men clips in it. Yeah. Yeah. Though when I told Destiny this, she didn't fucking believe me. Yeah, it was originally in Mystery Men before it was. Um, right. I didn't know that the Mystery Men. You want to sit on my lap? I'm the baby on my lap. Okay, so today, um, before Deanna hits into her, uh, uh, Smash Mouth, uh, what, what would you call that? Uh, conspiracy? It's not a conspiracy, it's the truth. It's a conspiracy. It's sci real. <laughs> it's sci real. Um, I would like to, uh, bring up something that has been haunting me for about, uh, 15 minutes. <laughs> Because uh, Deanna brought it up to me a few days ago. Actually, last podcast, after we recorded the podcast, she brought this up. Um, was Tarzan a virgin? <laughs> I fucking forgot we wanted to talk about that. Was Tarzan a virgin or was he slapping monkey cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> if somebody knows this information, please contact me. <laughs> One eight hundred. Are you slapping? <laughs> One eight hundred. Are you slapping? No. Um. Uh, it's 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 a proper question. All right. It was Tarzan a virgin. Also, why did he have a beard? <laughs> why didn't or body hair? hair. Other his than dad his had a beard. He should have had. Maybe he was a. Uh, that thing where people don't go through puberty really, or like they, they go through puberty really late. And that's why he's a virgin. His balls hadn't dropped yet. I don't know. <laughs> the way that he and Jane curled around each other on that one vine. You remember the. <laughs> you know, wait a second. <laughs> no, the question, the question lies is um, was Tarzan a virgin before he met and ultimately probably fucked Jane, I assume? Did they wait until marriage? Or did he, in fact, pound some gorilla cheeks? I mean, his best friend was, in fact, a female gorilla. Did you know that? Did you know Turk was a female? Yeah. 
cool. A lot of people don't know that. talks like a sassy black woman. You know, I never under I never knew that until the very beginning. I was rewatching it, and it's the mom says, roles. "Come here, little lady," and I'm like, "Oh shit, Turks a girl? What the fuck?" Because gender roles don't matter to six and seven year olds. <laughs> I mean, at least they did. Is that I really? Was... Are you? Mm, I don't know. With the sexualized things that happen today, kids media. Uh, birds with boobs. Oh, birds with boobs. <laughs> birds don't have boobs. Oh, from Happy Feet. Why the fuck did what's her name have boobs? Well, not like boobs, like with nipples, but the outline, the illusion of breasts. Okay. Anyways, this is what we came here to talk about today. Um. All. Uh, Smash Mouth's most uh, famous song. Wait, 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 wait. For any of you listening to this, if you want to try and weigh in on the Tarzan uh, theory <laughs> question, email me. You can contact me on my uh, Tumblr, actually, if you'd like to. Um, and I will save them and talk ab- and talk about them or the ones that I agree with. <laughs> tell, me, tell me, Tumblr. On the uh, show. And my my Tumblr is child of myth c h i l d o f m y t h at tumblr.com. So go ahead and hit me up then. Uh, I'll try not to be a bitch. No, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see if it gets us talking. See if it gets anywhere. Plus, also this means I get boosted and maybe get more followers. Because I'm vain. Yeah, she's vain. Um, anyways, <laughs> I'll start by Smash Mouth. There is... Um, what What can I say about this movie? Or show. Uh, song. song! Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what can I say about All Star by Smash Mouth? Um, I, I can say that I don't remember ever memorizing the words. I think I was just born. <laughs> with, I think I think every with the lyrics in your I heart. think every human is born with like the lyrics scripted on their brain. You know, you know, I don't even think Shrek was out before I was born. Yeah. Well, surely the song was. Surely, I think Mystery Men was out before I was born. Well, let me look up when the song came out. But anyways, I mean, they're okay. They're. There's a vital question that I want to ask you, viewers, that uh, more important than the Tarzan one. What exactly is the line from All Star? Is it, but the media man begged to differ, judging by the hole in the satellite picture, or is it, but the meteor man begged to differ? As a meteorologist, mm-hmm. judging by the hole in the satellite picture. I pondered this and realized that nobody seems to be quite sure. What? Which one do you think it is? I don't know. I, I, I don't have a hard opinion. Came out in 1999, by the way. May 4th, 1999. A year after I was born. Two years ago. Um, I don't have a uh, hard opinion on what the lyric is. All I know is um, I fucking thought <laughs> it was media men. Um, that would mean like a news reporter. Yeah, on, um, on the media, on TV, right? Yeah. Um, which could allude to the thought of global warming. Mm-hmm. The ice we skate is getting pretty thin. The water's getting warm, so you might as well swim. Well, world's on fire. How about yours? Global warming. <laughs> okay, now, what do you think it is? Uh, I'm sure you know the lyric for sure because you looked. Um, what is the actual lyric? What is the actual lyric? You yeah. want to know? Well, you see, I discovered looking this up on Google mm-hmm. uh, that somebody actually asked Smash Mouth on Twitter. And in reply, they posted the original written down lyrics for... All Star. And I'm going to read you now the picture and all the lyrics that come on this notebook. There's some scratched out at the top that you can't quite make out, but um, it starts with looking kind of dumb with my finger and my thumb in the shape of an L on my forehead. So it's not hers in the original. 
She's looking kind of dumb with a finger and her thumb on the shape of an L on her forehead. It was it was my forehead originally. Then he got pissed at one of his exes and was like, her forehead, her, <laughs> she's. And then uh, we have this segment that's uh, in a box and it's clearly the chorus. Uh, will the years start coming and they don't stop coming? Fed to the rules and I hit the ground running. Didn't make sense not to live for fun. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see, so what's wrong with taking the back streets? You'll never know if you don't go, and then a slash. You'll never shine if you don't glow. That's some that's some real shit. Can I get that tattooed on my body? There's a lyric here that is missing from the song. It says, My mama said to me, son, she said to me. Hey now, get your game on. You're an all-star, go play. Hey now, get the show on. You're a rock star, go play. And all that glitters is gold. And shooting stars will break the mold. And then and is scratched out and instead goes follows an arrow that says only shooting star. Now finally, we're getting to the lyric that we care about. Um, wait. Oh my god. Okay. So there's a line scratched out before all that glitter or and shooting stars to break the mold. It says all that glitters is gold. And then the line marked out says wave bye bye to your soul. What? <laughs> Which I think is fucking crazy. <laughs> ominous. <laughs> Can you imagine if that's the elf star we got? Oh man. Wave bye bye to your soul. <laughs> Oh man. It's a cool place. <laughs> <laughs> right, like in like a really ominous tone, like his voice slows down. <laughs> and this this can be sourced easily. It's on their Twitter. But um the next line is it's a cold place and they say it gets colder. You're bundled up now, wait till you get older. But the meteor man begged to differ, judging by the hole in the satellite picture. My world's on fire. How about yours? That's the way I like it. And I never get bored. So and it's that's, Meteor Man. That's all that's in the picture. I don't need you for the question anymore because you just heard the answer. Thanks, Mom, though. So the original lyric is Meteor Man, such as, I can only assume, Meteorologist Man. Or I mean, aliens. Or aliens. <laughs> Beg to differ. Um, I like your hair yesterday. Thank you. But, um... Upon learning that, I have to go back and say that that other line is very interesting. Yeah, wait a second. Like we we started this out wanting to discuss the media or meteor uh, topic, but now I'm kind of interested into the wave goodbye to your soul. Wave bye bye to your soul. It's cool place. <laughs> wow, what a, mm, what were they thinking about? What's 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 the lead singer of all uh, Smash Mouth? I don't Johnny know. Smash Mouth. But he looks like Guy Fieri. Is his name Johnny? Yeah, his name is Johnny uh, Smash Mouth. That's you why they are. call him Smash Mouth. Uh, Smash. His last name Smash Mouth? Yeah. That's a stupid fucking last name. What? It says here his name is Steve Harwell. Oh, oh what? Yeah, well, that's uh, a I hate your guts. That's the nickname, Steven Scott Harwell. Guts. He's got a double chin. And his. He fucking does no. Uh, I don't know that. He has a double chin. Uh, Ooh, and it has that like sunglasses and frosted tips. He has that 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 beard that the cut where like it's just a line that follows where his chin Oh my chin god, would a be. chin strap. He's, He's got a chin strap here. Pounds. He does. What the fuck? The fucking uh, big music video started playing. Mm -hmm. No. But did you did you did you hear um did you hear us talking just a second ago? Yeah. There was a cut line from All Star Wait, that was bye. instead so that was instead marked out and replaced with shooting stars break the mo. I, I will never sing it like that anymore. It'll forever be wave do up, you, up do you and it's still, wave bye bye to your soul. Do you still have memorized the crazy. Christian version they used to sing at church? Yeah. What? Emerald does. What? Hey, Emerald. Yeah. No, I will not. Can you say it? Because I have no recollection of this shit. You have to sing it. 
Can you please, Emerald, please, this is, this hey, is important you're information. You're star, praising Jesus. I just made no. that up. I just, yeah, I know. I what is it? I made it up. Know. Emerald, write it down and I'll sing it. Please. I will sing it. I don't <laughs> remember. <laughs> Shut up. I don't rem- recall this at all. The only thing I remember is uh, the Bible rap. Oh, yeah, Jesus I think rap. we have it on video, actually. The books of the Bible rap is what oh, I remember. No. Do you guys remember it? Uh, and only the first remember testament. Remember when you were going to rewrite uh, Vanilla Ice's Ninja, Ninja rap? rap? Yes. For Jesus, and then yeah. uh, that's one of my favorite moments. Uh, Emerald, Emerald and I, mostly me, Emerald just kind of went with the shit I went into. Yeah. But <laughs> word, um, I was obsessed for what? Because I get hyper fixated on things sometimes. On Jesus? No, you? never Jesus. Funny. Uh, but I get hyper fixated on fandoms and stuff, and I happen to be interested in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle surprise, lore surprise. and movies, and I had seen the second one and had it on DVD. Uh, the what? live action, the live action one, uh, where Vanilla Ice shows up inexplicably and sings and sings Ninja Rap. And and. <laughs> I don't have a piece of paper. Somebody get this get this woman a piece of paper. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Anyways, um Emerald just went with me on shit because she was young. And interested, I guess. Anyways, but uh I played that on my DVD player in my room over and over and over again. And Emerald and I actually practiced the moves that the Ninja Turtles dance in that movie to that song and we got it fucking down down pat we we had that shit i'm glad you guys had your morals in check and we (laughs) we wanted to perform it at church but they wouldn't let us because they didn't like the original song so i was like all right what if we make it about jesus fuck me Fuck me in the ass because I love Jesus. Um, that Lord would want it never actually got off the ground. Give me a sweet sensation of a throbbing rationalization. But that's what we wanted to do, and that's the story behind that. Thank you for making me holy. For go Jesus, Thank you go for Jesus, giving go me Jesus. holes to choose go from. Go Jesus, go Jesus, go. Go to, go to church, go to church, go. Word, 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 word. Word, 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 word. Let me do me dirt, dirt. <laughs> Emerald is at this very moment. Emerald is at this very moment uh, writing out the lyrics to Jesus All Star, which is very important. I can only assume it's awful. Okay, wait. You're telling me they didn't like the original All Star? They're All Stars? No, the they're All Stars. The original Ninja Rap. Um. Well, their religion is that. My religion is uh, just All Star by Smash Mouth. And I'm feeling very discriminated. No, Emerald. Emerald will be uh, returning that to me shortly so that I can read it for all of you. Probably Steve. I think it's Steve. You don't have to have a piece of my thing every time. Yeah, We're mama. doing a fucking no, segment sorry. here. <laughs> you have to let it. That's what you have. Amber. Trick or We're doing a segment on the podcast. You're interrupting. I thought she was. God. Right now. Yeah. Right now. Go Jesus, go Jesus, That's why we're go. Talking about this. go to church, go, go to Jesus, church. Go Jesus, go Jesus, go! Go Jesus! <laughs> She's just saying it. No. Go to church, go to church, go! I love you, Ellie. Don't look at me like that. Oh my god. Okay. Hey now, you're a Christian. What, 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 what are your thoughts? Did you ever have any weird going to church shit? I remember going to, like, vacation <laughs> Bible school. And my my ankle was broke at this specific one, and people had to wheel me around in a wheelchair the whole time because I had a broken ankle. Um, that's about it. I mean, it was kind of like a cult. Um, <laughs> a cult for Jesus. The, the guy who ran it was always like a really creepy, skinny, hunched over guy who looks like your uncle that hugs you too long at family gatherings. No, just I I have a I have a funny. No. Me getting injured at church camp story. Yeah. Want to hear it? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I was young. We were still in California, and I like going to youth camp because I could get out of the house and away from my father. Yeah. So I was always fun. That was something to look forward to. 
It's no. Jesus Christ, and they say Fuck. it's Jesus. Um, you um, don't pretend like it's not the truth, because you might hear this. Um, no, I love my father. I'd rather be with him than my mother. I mean, that's... So, um, anyways, uh, we were playing a game. We, we, our youth camp was up in the mountains at a, uh, in college campus. Yes. It was up in a fucking mountain. Like, you don't... Right now? When you're done. Yes. They fucked your order up, and I have to get dinner started. Okay, uh, so... Like the roads were sloped and there was forest everywhere. And uh, we had to go down this little hill to get to the church auditorium. And uh, all the groups, we were in teams. I was in the orange team. We did the. That was our chant. Okay. Oh, no. Some. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Emerald just returned to us with the Smash Mouth Jesus. That's and just part of it. That's part of it, and I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Destiny okay. sing this. Um, somebody once told me hey. the world was gonna sure. roll me. I lived the way that hey, Jesus I'm said that I would look kind of dumb with my finger and my thumb in the shape of an L on my forehead. Mm-hmm. Well, they got well, that originally. The fear started coming and they didn't stop coming. The fear? <laughs> but I trusted in the Lord and I hit the ground running. It didn't make sense not to live for the Lord. So I found my purpose and I never got bored. So much to do, so much to say. So what's wrong with living the Lord's way? You'll never know if you don't go. You'll never know if you don't blow. There's more. Hey, now. Hey, you're a Jesus follower. <laughs> That's kind of horrible. Jesus Christ. Exactly. Jesus Christ. He is the Lord. The Lord and our Savior. Hey, now. You're... And the fear start coming and the don't stop coming. I just need that on a loop over and over again. The fears stop coming and they don't stop coming. The fears stop coming and they don't stop coming. Because that's my ear. Thanks. I really like my hair right now. I've been like chewing on you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, the story is that we met up for a thing. Okay. We met up for a thing. We we're supposed to go find. It was like a treasure hunt. So my team and another team went behind the church. And when the teams meshed in the middle, they both went. The opposite way again and up out because we were surrounded by forest and they went up and there was a slight slope between the back of the church and up in front of the church mm-hmm. and so they left and then I was left in the middle not knowing where the fuck I was supposed to be and I was alone in like a split second I don't know how that ki- those kids fucking got out of there but they did well you see when you follow the lord so I retraced my steps. The Lord, babe. But I slipped on the uh, fucking slope and cut up my my knee on the rocks. But you see, I didn't allow myself the time to be afraid because I was heavily into the Warrior Cat books then. Because the fear started coming and they didn't stop coming. But you trusted in the Lord and you hit the ground running. You know what? That's true. And then you busted your knee up. So thank no. God. <laughs> No, I was uh, I was into the Warrior Cat series then, and I was definitely afraid of badgers. And because there was forest right beside me, and it was dark out, I was convinced if I sat there crying for myself in my busted up kneecap, a badger would come out of the woods and attack me. So I ran to the closest uh, street light I saw. And I passed somebody who was like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm fine, because I didn't feel the pain yet through my adrenaline. Then I felt something fucking swooping down my leg, and I'm like, "Mm, this isn't good. It's the badger. (laughs) And I got to the light, and I looked down, and it's just blood just down my my leg. I'm leaving blood spots behind me. I don't... So I'm like, that's not good. And I sit there, because I don't know what to do, because I don't know where anyone is. And I sat under that light for like ten minutes, not crying, just kind of looking at it and chilling, until finally someone from my church, who was like 16 at the time, mind you, but I thought she was like 25, yes. um, finally found me and took me to the nurse 
And you know what the nurse fucking did? What? He taped gauze to my knee all while flirting with my church counselor. Oh my god. Hey, honey. Yeah. He didn't ask me if I was okay, nothing. Just tape, gauze, hey, baby. And then I left and went to sleep. And that's my church story. Is that a ghost with his bunny back? That's my dumb fucking church story. Okay, well, this has been D&D. Uh, Destiny and Dina. And it's been fun. Just Dina. That was a good episode. I just want to say it. That was a good episode. And we'll be back next that week. That was a good episode. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. I don't know what we'll talk about next week. Probably nothing. Welcome to my world. <laughs> That was good shit, guys. I let that go on because that was podcasting gold. Was it really? Yeah, no, that was really good. Oh, thank you. Well, although, <laughs> although I am wondering if it could get any louder in the background. Oh, wait, I, I, yeah, I well, we a lot need of people a lot have... more noise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is very loud right now. Sorry. But we're back. Yes? We're back. We're back. You ready? Okay. <clears throat> No, she ordered the wrong one. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I'm bringing you back. No. Oh, it was her fault, not theirs. Your hair's really nice. Like Thank you, I dyed it. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, it grows naturally. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I just grew it all. It's more of a green. Shut the fuck up. I okay. like your hair in green. Okay. You guys, it's time to make fun of Japan. <gasps> Yay. Oh, <clears> I love it. I had to explain to Destiny the other day what yeah, a, where the, the origins yeah. of waifu and husbando were. Nice. Nice. She laughed the whole time. <laughs>